this tutorial, we're going to go over a more advanced feature in Excel, which is how to create predictive analysis, predictive financial analysis tools, and how to show them in different scenario formats. This is a great way if you're trying to predict uh, next year's sales figures or anything related to that. As you can see right here, we have our 2012 sales for our Star Wars buddies. And what we're wanting to do is create a few different scenario options. And so we're wanting to create one scenario that has a nice steady growth pattern and another one that's maybe a little bit more aggressive. So first thing we're going to do is come down here to where the tab where it says 2012 sales. And because we don't want to change this data, you're going to right click it and create another tab and create copy. Hit OK, and now you can see we have two tabs here, one for 2012 sales and the copy, which we're going to say 2013 scenarios, and that is all set. So the very first thing we're going to do are, is change the data in the table. Now we could go manually and try to change it and say we want to increase by 10% uh, as a growth figure. You know, we could go and try to figure out 10% of 500, then 700, then 900, but that really wouldn't be the most efficient way of doing it, and you wouldn't be utilizing some of the formula power that Excel has. So the very first thing we're going to do is let's come down here and have we have a nice little workspace down here that we can work from, and we're going to create a formula that adds 10% onto the sales figure. So with all, as with all formulas, click equals, select the first tab there on the top left hand side, which is going to be B2, which is equaling $500, and going to multiply that by 10%. And then because that would give us $50, we want to also add the value of B2 on top of it. And now we're left with $550. And now to get the values for all of the rest of the columns, because it wouldn't be very efficient for you to go and try to type that formula into each one of these cells. I'm sure at some point something would get, there'd be a mistake. We're going to grab the nifty little fill tool here and drag it all the way down for each of the months and you can see now we have 700 for February times 10 percent plus 10 uh, plus the total and you have it all the way down and we're gonna go the same for each of the customers now you, there are six customers so we'll go down five so one two three four five now we have it for each of the customers you see the corresponding cell has now been at 10 percent has been added to it and now we'll get it for the rest of the months just click and drag on that tag fill and now you have each of these now the first thing you may want to do is come here copy this and then paste it up here but what's going to happen because these are all formulas if you try to do that, you're just going to get an error message because you're replacing a formula with something that uh, that is actually being pulled from. So it's going to create a little cycle error that you don't want. So uh, we have copied that. What we're going to do is come in here and select each of the cells that we want to replace. Right click and come down to paste special. In paste special, instead of doing any of these regular paste options, because you see what would happen if we pasted any of these, it just creates this reference error because technically nothing would be able to be referenced if that was pasted in. So to fix that, you come down to paste values and you actually simply select one of these options right here. So we're going to do uh, the middle one, values and number formatting and as you can see we've replaced the old values with the new values and these formulas still being in place ha are now working so the 6671 total is actually the new value so this is our scenario one and we'll come down here and 
We'll keep the first one because we're going to be using that in a second, but we'll get rid of the rest. So we'll just click contents on that, clear contents on that. And so before we move on and get into our more aggressive scenario, which would be 25%, we have to actually save this one because the scenario manager we're going to be using uh, allows you to view things side by side. And uh, so you're not going to be doing this manually. So the very first thing we're going to do is add a new row here at the top. We'll right click, insert, and this is where we're going to say conservative and we'll know conservative conservative means yeah 10 percent increase in sales and so since we have that make sure you have that cell selected we come up to the data ribbon and click on what if analysis go to scenario manager and we can see there are no scenarios here right now so we add them and this first one we're going to call conservative and now we have to change the cells or show the cells that are going to be changing. So we click that selector tool. It already selects conservative, which we need that one to be selected. So it gives a visual on when it, we're looking at the conservative one uh, versus the aggressive one or any other ones that we create. So we click control and select the totals and then select these totals here come back to the selector tool. Now we see that we have the cells A1, N3 through N9, and B9 through M9. Hit OK. And it'll come up with a little error message, but that, or yeah, a warning message, but that's fine. We know that each of those cells contain a formula. Hit OK. And now you can see that each one of those cells that the scenario manager has pulled in each one of the values for those cells and is now storing those in this scenario manager. So we have our conservative one. Hit close and now we're going to come back here and create our aggressive amounts. And the aggressive amount is going to be 25%. So we come down to our little formula here. Click 25. Hit enter. And before we do that, make sure that we put in our old amounts or else we're going to be going 25% on top of 10% which wouldn't be good. So okay we're back to our original starting point and now this is taking 25% off of the original amount and then adding that on top of itself so that's 625. Click, uh, click the fill tool, drag it all the way here and then pull it down so we have all the data that we want. Now remember, we select all of that, copy it, come back up here, right click, go to paste special, and then paste values so that we're pasting the actual values and we're not trying to paste the formula in. So that is now in there and we don't need this anymore. So we'll just come clear contents. And so we have our new amounts and they're populating the totals both by month and also by customer. So this is our aggressive scenario. And so all we have to do is come up to our what if analysis button, click scenario manager, add a new one called aggressive. It remembers all the cells that we already had so we don't need to reselect those. Hit OK. And now you can see we have both of our scenarios. Now to look at them just one at a time, at any time you can click and you see we have our aggressive ones here. You can see the totals on the right hand side. If we want to see the conservative, you just click conservative and then show. And then you can see it switched to conservative and also each one of those totals also switched. So we can go to aggressive and the total switch there. You notice that the amounts here in the center didn't switch. That's fine because we don't really care about those. We care, we already know that they're increasing by 25%. What we care about are the totals. And honestly, the scenario manager is more just to organize it. What you're gonna be showing customers is actually, or uh, management or whoever you're creating this for, uh, is this summary button right here. So what this does is Excel puts together all of this data and creates a summary tool for you based on the different criteria. So 
to do that to use this you click summary and we want a summary report you could also have it put in a, a pivot table but uh, a summary will be fine for our use today and then the result cells the only result we're really caring about here is the total by customer uh, right here and so because essentially it's going to be the same for either of them so click that and we only care about that cell so click the selector tool hit OK and as you can see now there's a whole new page and a whole new tab Excel has created called the scenario summary and so what this does is it creates a summary of the two side by side and we can get rid of or hide uh, these columns because we don't need these and we can just look at conservative versus aggressive and go down and see on the very bottom if we have a 10% increase for uh, for um, for the year then we're gonna end up with sales of 38,340 and 50 if we have a 25% increase it's 43,568 and 75 cents now one thing Excel doesn't do very well or doesn't do automatically is give you a reference point for what these numbers represent so if we come back up and we unhide these cells these columns you can see that we have the cell reference is what they're trying to give you to be able to say okay this is what the conservative value is versus aggressive but honestly n9 doesn't really help me out very much so I'm gonna delete this we can come and create it again but we're gonna create it by renaming these cells and it's just a little trick that Excel allows you to do uh, that will give us a, just a better reference point so I already did January you can come up to rename it all you have to do is type in uh, February or whatever you want to call the cell hit enter and then move on to the next one instead of it being D9 this is gonna be March instead of April or instead of E9 that's April and go all the way down the line June July August if I can spell them correctly October And then also we can give these the names of the customers. That's Darth. That's Luke. And sometimes Excel does have some uh, problems remembering them, but for the most part, it's pretty good about it. And we'll give this one just the total. Okay, so that's all set. Now let's redo that uh, summary scenario with the result cell being the same. And now come and look how much better this scenario summary looks. Now you can actually see, okay, uh, this amount is for Luke, this is for Lando, all the way down where you can do it. Uh, segmented by month and then you have the total values here at the bottom um, you can get rid of that current value tab and so now you have conservative aggressive and you have much better drill down because you rename these cells uh, for what their corresponding values are so that's how to create and manage a uh, the different scenarios and how to do a little bit of predictive analysis. We'll also be doing some things that uh, get even deeper and more advanced uh, such as 
uh, using in the what if analysis the goal seek and a few things like that in a later tutorial but this is a great way to be able to create side-by-side -side comparisons of different scenarios and you're definitely not limited to just two you could have six or a dozen or a hundred different scenarios depending on the time you want to spend on creating them but this is a great tool you can print this out you can email it uh, it's a great thing to give to management to be able to show potential scenarios whether it's financial or uh, really anything that you want to show in the future so good luck with creating those scenarios